Hi all! If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira and I am a makeup product connoisseur enthusiast and I post videos about new makeup products but also about using and enjoying the things that you already have and that you've already spent your money on and getting the most out of them. If that sounds good to you, I hope you will subscribe and if you like this video, I hope you will hit the like button. Today's video is all about the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. It's such a mouthful. Um, I posted on my community tab about trying this out. Um, I had sort of been on the fence about it because it does have silicones in it, which my skin tends to be quite sensitive to. But I posted on my community tab um, that I went ahead and purchased it and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a review of it and you said yes. So I received this about a week ago, maybe a little bit longer, and I was trying it out because I wanted to make sure that I had sort of formed some thoughts on it before I sat down to speak with you guys about it. So I've used it a handful of times, um, so I definitely have some opinions about it, but I also wanted to demo it on camera for you guys and show you how I've been using it and ways to use it. All right, um, if you notice my background is different, if you are a regular viewer, you notice that you probably notice that my background is usually pretty dark. I usually have a dark... Summertime in the city, folks. I usually have a dark green background. Green is my favorite color um, and I love that background but I wanted to try something different, maybe brighten it up for the summer season. So let me know if you guys enjoy this. I've never used a white background before. Um, I used to film just behind my armoire um, like my first handful of videos before I got a background but I'm not used to filming in front of white so I'm sort of interested to see how that plays as far as like how colors you know, um, translate on camera. So you guys let me know in the comments, do you prefer the, the brighter background? Um, should I get some colored lights or something behind me or down here? I have light softbox lights right here. So just let me know what you think. And I'm, I'm willing to play around with it a bit and, you know, tweak it. But I just want to see if I liked it and first before I went through all of that. Anywho, let's get to it. So my brows are done. That was a journey. We're not going to talk about it. Um, my face is cleansed and I have sunscreen on. I did go out already. I get out early to do my morning walk. So that's all done. So let's get to applying the product. So this is what I have been doing. I have been, I haven't been using this on its own. Um, one of the things that I sort of decided to stay away from because of the silicones in the product is putting it directly onto my skin without anything like underneath it. So I haven't been wearing this as just, you know, Danessa says you can wear it on its own. You can wear it as primer. You can wear it on its own for light coverage, evening of the skin tone, or you can use it to set your makeup. So I'm going to do on this side today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on. I'm going to apply it just on its own. And then I'm going to, on the other side, I'm going to do what I've been doing, which is applying foundation and all my makeup and then going in and setting my face with the product. So I have shade six and this is what it looks like. And it's a pretty decent match for me. My skin tone is neutral with slightly yellow to golden undertones, but not too golden. Um, I can't go really warm with things. It can make me look very Oompa Loompa, but I can't go super, super neutral or I look, you know, like casket ready. So for me, this one was kind of a happy medium. I was going between this one and shade five. I think shade five is just a tad too on the orange side for me and maybe just a tad too light for summer. Um, I don't think I would use that in the warmer months on my skin. So I'm taking some on the back of my hand, and this looks like a lot, but it's not because you'll see it blends quite nicely. Um, I'm gonna take this flat Real Techniques brush, and I'm gonna tap, 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 grab my mirror, and I'm basically just gonna start applying this so you guys can see this looks like and the texture of this is very um if you've ever used a, a balm before then you kind of know the texture of it i feel like um some people are saying that the texture is very strange i don't find it strange but i also have used balm foundations before so to me it just feels slightly more like a, a more silicone balm if that makes sense like it's not as dewy as, say, the um, the Salt New York 
sneaky ball that's very very dewy um it's very um emollient to the touch this is not like that you can definitely tell that this has um some silicones in it along with other things so and i'm just putting some a little extra here just so I have a little bit of acne scarring, so I want to see if I can cover that up. And I'm taking it up, which I don't usually do, but for today's demo purposes, we will definitely do. Okay. Get under the eyes, too. Okay, so this is the side with the blurring balm powder and this is the side without and as you can see it's basically just my skin but just a little bit more refined so if that's what you're going for especially i would say on a really hot day and you don't want a lot on your skin and you're looking for something that would help control oil a little bit and but also keep your skin looking really natural and not flat i think wearing it on its own if you can if your skin can tolerate you know silicones directly on the skin I think this would be great for that. Um, the one thing I will say that I was surprised by this because of the upsolite in it is that I felt that I assumed that it would be much more mattifying than it actually is, which was a pleasant surprise for me. I felt very um, happy about that because I'm. the thing is, is that even though I have oily to normal skin, or oily combo skin, whatever you want to call it, um, I don't want to look flat and dry and you know I want some dimension I like a little glow uh, to my face I don't want to ever look dewy and greasy but I like to have a little bit of glow and dimension so I like that this sort of maintains that and this is my skin I use I use a, a, a moisturizing sunscreen so it's like um it's not a moisturizer but it's one of those sunscreens that are more moisturizing to the skin it's not like a, a silicone -y, uh, sunscreen like say for instance the super group unseen sunscreen something like that which I was using but was breaking me out because of what the silicones so yeah so this is beautiful so now let's get into how I have been wearing this which is with foundation all right so I'm now going to apply the foundation that I've been wearing this with um, I've worn it with another foundation but this is the main one that I've been wearing it with which is the Kosas um, revealer skin improving foundation And this is the shade, um, this is shade, what shade is this? This is olive, medium deep neutral olive 290. So I'm going right in with that. And this one is a pretty decent match for me. Um, this foundation. So, not perfect, but it's pretty good. And I'm sorry, you guys, if you can hear a lot of noise, I can't help it. I live on a really busy street and it's spring slash almost summer and that's when things get crunk around here. Can I say? All right. Okay, so this is my foundation. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to go ahead and put on my the rest of my face. I'm gonna do my, you know, my whole shebang, my bronzer, concealer, all that good stuff, and then we're gonna come back. All right, guys, I am back. I applied my bronzer. I used the Say Bronzer um, Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer and Medium Bronze. I used my um, Melt Cosmetic Sandy Cheeks or cream blush light in sandy cheeks. And then I applied my Kosas concealer, which has been like my go-to recently. So that's all done. Um, and I haven't done anything else as far as with the sneaky bomb. So let me show you what I've been doing on this side of my face. So I've still got some on my hand here and it's still malleable. It didn't dry down. It didn't do anything like that. I've been taking my powder puff my linda hallberg powder puff i love this thing it's amazing i'm not, i've never thought i was a powder puff girl until i tried this one this one's fantastic so i take a little bit and what i do is i go over the areas that i want to have the most oil control so around here
hand, this isn't a lot. And I'm pressing this into my skin. Now, can you see how it didn't like change? It didn't mattify my skin. Like my skin still looks like my skin, right? It does, it's not like when you're applying powder and you're getting that big poof of powder. Um, I have applied this with powder as well. I've done both, which might seem really heavy, but it worked because I was using a skin tint and I was, I just went in with my mattifying powder. This is on a day that it was like 90 degrees here. We had like, we set a record for our heat on that particular day here in Chicago. And so I was really adamant about seeing if this would hold up under such like extreme heat conditions and humidity conditions. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. I'm going to post pictures too of what my skin looked like that day. So now I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to do the same since I use this as my sort of like my skin tint slash foundation. I'm going to set it with the exact same product and we're going to see how this looks. There we go. All right, so I have it on both sides of my face. As you can see, this side is a bit dewier, but not by much. Um, I actually like both sides quite a bit. I will say, I, th I think I like this side a little bit more, but that's because I'm wearing a foundation and I've got a little bit more coverage. But I will say that this doesn't give bad coverage. Like I was, I was surprised at, at the amount of coverage I got. It's not, it's not full coverage by any stretch, but I feel like for an everyday type of product, um, you know, something that you can use on a summer day when you don't want a whole lot on your face to begin with, I think this could work quite well. So let's get into my thoughts about the Blurring Balm Powder. So, and I'm not doing my eyes or my lips in this video only because I'm filming two more videos and I'm doing um, quite a few things with, with my canvas. So I'm going to keep my canvas pretty plain for now, but I wanted to focus on the skin anyway because that's what this was about. So my thoughts on the Blur and Balm Powder. I like it. I will say it's not something that I will reach for every single day. And the reason for that is because of the silicones. I used this pow this balm powder two days in a row and on the third day I started I got a little bump here and a little bump there and I was like oh no 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 <laughs> so I stopped um and I had only been planning to wear for two days and then stop and then try again and then that's what I basically did I wore it for two days I took a couple days off I tried it again and what I'm finding is that I can use this but I have to be very strategic about it I can use it push it maybe one day, maybe two. Um, the days that I did use it, I used it on really hot days because I really wanted to give it a go, you know, give it a run for its money, see what it could do, see how it how it worked and stood up against high humidity temps. Um, I would say it stood up well. I would say my skin wasn't matte, but my skin wasn't greasy. My skin just looked really, really glowy and really natural. If you're looking for this to completely mattify your face, I mean, unless you're using a ton of it plus powder, I don't think you're going to get that even with the Upsolite, which I personally am fine with. The thing that I was most worried about is that I felt like this was going to just like blank my face out. And like I said, it doesn't do that. And as you can see, it doesn't do that. So for me, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, as far as using it as a primer, I don't, like I said, I'm very wary about putting it up against bare skin. And the few times that I wore it, I wore it with a foundation. It did better with a foundation. And then I wore it two times with a skin tint. And it was when I wore it with the skin tint were the days that I, were the two days in a row. And when I started to get little, you know, little breakouts. So my thought process, my thinking is that I need to wear with something a little heavier that creates more of a barrier between my skin and the blurring balm powder. Um, if I don't have that, I feel like my, my skin is not going to be happy with me. So I would never use this as a primer. Having said that, 
I don't really use primers anymore anyway, guys. I have maybe one primer now and I use it sparingly. I tend to use my sunscreen as my primer. I always put have sunscreen, sunscreen on under my makeup. If I'm leaving the house and I'm not like just wearing makeup in the house, I have sunscreen on. So that has become my de facto primer. So yeah, I like this for setting. I wouldn't use it as a primer. I wouldn't wear it on its own for the reasons I mentioned. Not because of coverage, not because of the look of it. I think the look of it is actually really pretty. I think it's really pretty. I've seen it on a couple of people of similar skin tones. I've seen it on people with deeper skin tones and lighter skin tones. And I think it looks beautiful on everyone. Um, so for me, I think the finish of it is lovely. And if your skin doesn't have an issue with silicones, I think you will get a lot of use out of this, especially during the summer months when you don't, again, you don't want anything super heavy, but you want something that gives a little bit of coverage and maybe helps a bit with oil control. I don't know if this works for dry skin. I've seen a couple of people try it who have dry skin. I've seen some people like it and I've seen some people dislike it. I do not have dry skin, so I can't report on that. I would say, you know, look for some YouTubers with dry skin who've reviewed this so they can give you their thoughts on it. I know Morgan Turner has dry skin and I saw her review and she was a bit on the fence. It seemed like she was a bit on the fence about whether she liked it, really liked it. Her skin looks her makeup looked beautiful, but I think she was more worried about it, like drying her skin out over time, which is understandable because that's what Upsolite does is that it absorbs oil. So I'm going to insert some photos of, or a photo of the day that I wore this when it was 90 degrees. I had taken the photo in my room before I was leaving out. It was super hot that day. I do not have air conditioning in my bedroom. So I was hot. Um, yeah, so my skin is looking glowy I wasn't sweaty but it was glowy and what I liked is that it was the glow was still there but it wasn't insane you know what I mean so I'm gonna insert photos of that and you guys can look at those and tell me what you think but yeah let me know in the comments down below guys have you picked this up are you thinking about it I um I, I actually would really recommend this. I think it's a beautiful product. I think it's a cool product. I don't know of anything like this on the market. I think Danessa did something really rare, which is create something unique in the makeup market. That is a very hard thing and a very rare thing to do in 2022 makeup scene, you know? So yeah, I think this is a beautiful product. Again, like I said, I will continue to use it. I will just have to use it sparingly. I think I'm probably going to get a ton of use out of this in the coming summer months here in Chicago because it gets very hot and very humid because Chicago apparently only knows two seasons, hot and cold. You know, fall, spring, we don't know her. But yes, I am looking forward to using this on those extremely hot days and only those extremely hot days because I can't, I don't think I could be, I would be able to use this on a daily basis, which kind of bums me out. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is and I still have it for those days when I really need it. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and let me know in the comments down below again. Have you picked this up? What shade did you get? What do you think of the shade range? I actually think for 10, 10 shades, I think she did a really good job. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.